Now let me show you how the Construction Master Pro's built-in stair function can help you calculate uh, stair layouts. It'll automate all these error-prone manual calculations and end the time-consuming rise-and-go stair chart lookups. The one thing you need to understand about the function is that you store a desired or target riser height. And let me show you what that is. Recall, over the 7 key here, it says riser height 7.5 inches. Now that's the default value for here in the States. But for a metric application, we might want to use something like 200 millimeters. So let me just hit 200 and then hit convert 9. That's for millimeters. And then I hit store over the 7. It says riser height stored 200 millimeters. The same thing over the 9 key. I have my tread width stored. So right now the default is 10 inches. But for a metric application, let's use uh, 240 millimeters as our target. I hit convert 9. Makes it millimeters. And I say store that in the 9. Tread width stored 240 millimeters. So that will stay in there semi-permanently until you either pull the batteries out or hit convert all clear. But you can turn it off, come back a month from now, and these values will still be in there as you've stored them. So ordinarily you'd have those already done. So we're going to say that they're in there. And you know ordinarily start with a floor to floor rise. So say you've got uh, 2845 millimeters, and convert to 9 for millimeters, and I'm going to enter that as my rise. So now the stair function is all set to give us a series of answers that we need. The first press tells us it divides most e evenly if the riser height is 203 millimeters. It comes out most evenly. Now this little alert flag here is just telling us that, hey, this is above your target. We'd set a target of 200 and it's slightly above that, just to note it. Um, we think that's okay, so we're just going to go ahead with that. Press the next, press the stair key again. It tells us that there's 14 risers. Press it again. It says the R stands for remainder, and there's a minus 3 millimeters. So somewhere there's a shortage that we're going to have to make up either in the first riser or the last one or spread it across a couple of them. Um, press it again. Tread width is 240 millimeters. That's our, our target, our desired one. There's 13 treads. Press it again. There's no adjustment or remainder to deal with. Uh, the stairwell opening is going to be 2702 millimeters. Uh, the stringer length is going to be 4086 millimeters. The angle of incline is 40.23 degrees. Uh, one more press will tell me the total run of the stairway, and it comes out to be 3120 millimeters, which is good. But now let's say we change the situation and play a little what if. Say these stairs are going down into a basement or some situation where you've got a limited horizontal uh, run space uh, available. So let's say we've only got three meters to work with. So I'm going to enter three meters, and I'm going to enter that as my run. So now I go back through the sequence of the stair key. Still says 203 millimeters for my riser height. Still has 14 risers. Still has the adjustment of that 3 millimeters. The next press is tread width. And it has the little alert flag up there. And it says, hey, to make this come out evenly within that 3 meters we've got to work with, the tread width is now going to be 231 uh, millimeters, which is less than your target 240. So we look at that and we say, OK, I think we're OK with that. We're just going to go on. Uh, there's 13 treads. There's an adjustment of three millimeters that you've got to add to some one or several of them to make to sum up to three millimeters. Uh, press it again. The stairwell openings now 2601. Uh, the stringer length is 3997, and the angle of incline is a little steeper at 41.31 degrees. Uh, the last press just gives us our run, which is the three meters we entered as the constraint. So that's a quick overview on the stair function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.